Okay, so this is the Hollyland V Core and essentially this device can turn your phone or your iPad or your laptop or any other screen into an external monitor or an external recorder. That's a really neat feature. But we're not here to talk about the video features of the V Core. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how you can use the V Core as a wireless tethering tool. You see, Hollyland developed a plugin that plugs into Capture One and allows you to use your V Core to wirelessly tether photos during the photo shoots from your camera to Capture One. So, in this video, I'm going to take my time to show you exactly how to set that up, how to download the plugin, how to link it up with Capture One, and then just test the feature and see if it works well. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to download the plugin and to do that all you need to do is go to hollyland.com and uh, then go to products and come down here to vCore. You click on vCore and you go to downloads. Once you click downloads, you want to scroll all the way down here to this poly link and you can see this for Windows and for Mac. So I use a Mac, I'm just going to click Mac and then click download. Um, so allow this to download onto your system and then you can just go straight to your downloads and install it. To install it, hold on, you want to right click on it and open it with Capture One. I've already done this, so I don't need to redo this, but if you're going to install this, one thing you should do is to go to your system settings over here and go to your privacy and security, and you would need to turn off your file box because um, your MacBook would just not let you install this plugin because it's from an external source. So you, you might need to do this. Don't ask for your password, just type it in and then you can you can always turn this back on when you, once you're done. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is come into Capture One here. And when you're in Capture One, you click on the Capture One tool here, go to settings and then go all the way to the right here to plugins. And once you're in plugins, you just look something like this, right? So you want to go to Poly link and click on enable, okay? All right, now on the device itself, what you need to have done is a couple of things. You need to turn on the device, which is with this button right here. You turn this on and then it should be broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal. And then what you want to do is come all the way to Wi-Fi here and look for it. So on Wi-Fi here, you can see this HLD 0007733. That is the Wi-Fi signal that vCore is broadcasting and you want to connect your device, your laptop to that signal. So once you've done that and it's connected, the password by the way is 12345678 and I didn't put that in again because I've already done that. Uh, you then want to connect vCore to your camera. So the way this works is that vCore connects to your camera wired and then vCore then transmits wirelessly to Capture One. So the idea behind this is that you might want to take this like this and then just connect this to your USB out and then uh, this is just a regular iPhone cable by the way and then you want to connect this to your camera so the, the way this works is that you want to just have this with you and if you want to somehow attach this to your camera you could or if you wanted to just put this in your pocket you could as well this gives you a lot more freedom you know compared to using an actual wired tethering cable where you know there's always the risk of somebody bumping into the cable and throwing your, your laptop on the ground or your camera so with this we have this connected like this and then you can just put this in your pocket and then you have this okay so the next thing you want to do whilst you've connected to the wi-fi is go back to your system and in this plugin area here click on connect v -Core. So first you have to enable then click on connect v -Core. And once you click on connect with your v -Core, it should then say connected successfully. Um, so it's saying connect to the vCore Wi-Fi first. Let me make sure that it's connected. So right now it's connected back to my um, studio Wi-Fi. So I'll connect back to v -Core. Um, Just hold on and then go back to settings and then click connect v -Core. And you can see v -Core Wi-Fi connected successfully. So once that is done, uh, I'm just going to grab my camera now and turn it on and it's connected so all i need to do is take a picture for example okay there we go so all you need to do now is grab this and then you can take you can take a picture and then the picture is going to show up 
directly here on Capture One. Now, something that you have to take note of is that it takes about five seconds for the for raw files to move. But if you're shooting um, maybe just for clients or you want to send only JPEG files to your laptop, you could do that as well. So sending JPEG files is a lot shorter. So I'm just going to go to settings and change my file to say JPEG and raw and send just JPEG to my laptop. And then if you're sending a JPEG file, it's almost instantaneous. It takes about two seconds. So that's something you want to keep in mind and weigh the cons over the pros to say, is it worth it to wait five seconds-ish? Um, but the good thing is that you know that your files are still always going to be on your card and your files also are going to be on vCore because vCore takes in an, um, takes in a memory card. So hold on. Yep, so right here, it allows you to put in a memory card and there's a memory card in here. So basically you have two backups when you're using this. You have one here with the memory card and then you also have um, one in your camera and then one here on your system. So essentially that's how Audit and Vicor works with Capture One and this is how you can take advantage of it to wireless the tether. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, would you just use wireless tethering or wire tethering instead of using this? Um, I also try to just completely skip Vicor and use my camera directly to wireless the tether and that took about 10 seconds to send a raw file while this takes about 4 to 5 seconds to send a raw file. So uh, I mean, I'll post the oranges here. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. I uh, can't wait to see you in the next one. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you so much. Bye.